Hello my friends, welcome back to Celaster, it's episode 11. What would be, uh... For you guys, just two days, of course, because this, this, uh... This game is going out every two days on the channel, but for me, has probably been several weeks. <clears throat> because, uh... I usually sort of record games in sessions when I'm uh, in the mood to play them. And uh, I just really gotten into Phoenix Point recently and therefore this game sort of got sat on the back burner because we have um, probably my least favorite part of any RPG. Which is, of course, Found one. the uh, random puzzle. Is it even fair to use the word puzzle? <clears throat> um, standing on things puzzle to solve. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I just, I can't be bothered to solve puzzles in games that are not puzzle games. That's, that's my biggest issue, is uh, if I'm in the mood for puzzle solving, if I'm in the mood for that kind of problem so solving, and I'm going to I'm going to show my age here, my god am I going to show my age here. But it's games to me, uh, games like um, Broken Sword and uh, Sam and Max Hit the Road, the original one, and uh, uh, <coughs> there's this one featuring a motorbiker that was really famous and I can't remember for the life of me what it was called. Uh, things like uh, Grim Fandango, point and click adventure games where the whole point of the game is to really understand the story, focus on the story, understand the story, and through that focus and understanding of the story, uh, solve solve problems, which uh, sometimes those problems are a bit weird and make no sense. And, uh, yeah, and I just, I don't like that in other kinds of game. Because my mind is on the game's battle system, the game's, you know, combat and stats and all that kind of thing. You know, my mind is focused on that gameplay aspect of the game. And, uh, if you're, if you're mentally focused on that, you're not really that focused on uh, anything else. I don't know if we have turned on all the necessary bits here. Or whether there's another one lurking around somewhere. There might be four, but we seem to have found three. Either way, there doesn't seem to be anything else. Oh, there's one. That looks like I haven't stood on it yet. Let's just turn cautious off, because uh, I'm sure we're done with the enemies for now. I think we're done with the magic space spiders. Another one. Activate the orb. Sweet. Like, what is even, you know, what was even the point? We did it! Woo! Was that insane puzzle the work of some long dead Manakalan wizard? Probably. 
Even from the tomb, that magical arsehole is messing with us. Okay, gave 50 EXP for that. I'm not even sure that that is a meaningful amount of experience points. I don't think it is somehow. Nope, need like another thousand. <laughs> it's literally not meaningful in any way. You would need 20 such bonuses to get a thousand uh, EXP. So the whole procedure was just a waste of time. Aha! Now this is good, because I can recharge Misty Step and I can go back and get that chest. In fact, there's a couple of chests I could probably get. Yes! There's a couple of chests I can probably get. I'm just wondering, do you have the ability to... I don't think so. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Well, it's whatever. Okay. I think I've got loads of rations, so I can long rest to my heart's content. To the content of my soul, I can long rest. ration packs here. Plenty, but not a, uh, not an infinite amount, obviously. An obvious issue here is that my mage is about as, uh, it's, uh, it's about as athletic as I was post-military, i.e., barely able to propel myself forward using my legs. So... <laughs> but anyway, let's run over here quickly and uh, use the old misty step to go and grab that chest. Which I was long since staring at. I think there's another chest around as well that I missed. I'm pretty sure we looted that one. sufficiently spicy enough. It's not a su sufficiently spicy enough action. that's more than um, more than six spaces I 
Either that or it's claiming that I can't see the area. No, there's definitely more than six spots. Must be. Well, that's unfortunate. I can't get up there with her. But if I remember correctly, he can get up there. So we have, uh, we have looted that chest. I'm sort of tempted to, um, see if I can, if I teleport up here, to see if I could reach across from there. It's proving a little bit difficult to count the tiles here, but... One, two... Three, four, five, six. I think it would be possible. If tiles were were counted in some sort of direct way. Of course the uh Can't jump up anyway, or can't teleport up. Nope, so the whole thing is just a glorious waste of time. And I don't think there was any other uh, chests that we missed, just that one. I just thought I might be able to misty step to it, but turns out no. So, no idea how you get over there. Probably need some character who's got some kind of mega leap ability, but that's not a straight leap. This is the second time that I've seen a pillar that looks like it can be pulled down as well. And I'm wondering if there's a spell that's, you know, pull object type spell. But if there is a pull object type spell, I don't have it yet. So, <clears throat> anyway. Let's go. I'm going to presume that this area is safe because there's a campfire. Again, <laughs> at least at least all of our spells are uh, sufficiently refueled now. Magical lamp. Any magic will activate them, even a cantrip. Okay. Works fine to me. Here. <coughs> Where else could they be? This is 
it, friends. Stay strong. Get in position. Hit them hard. And take them by surprise. Ready. Dorlax having his Snorlax. I don't like having my guys separately like this, but anyway. Thunder and lightning, very, very frightening you. Let's go with a heightened beam of pain. Which apparently I can't quite cast in the right place. Move one tile to the side. Now, why can't I cast it? Okay, I need to be one more tile forward. Let's go behind the wall here. Get it! Get it! Challenge level one, easy. All right, we are ready to engage. That's really gonna help us, but surprise natural 20, baby. <laughs> Action, Sergey. This is magic orbs here, which I'm supposed to light, I suppose, when they run at me. targets. Oh, this is, uh, not, not got enough range. Six. Okay. It's pretty short ranged. Old reliable and his crossbow of pain. I was detected. There's 
use my cunning action to uh, hide my ass. Okay, some sort of Snarlax 2.0, Return of the Snarlax. Now a good time to get my party back together. I'm trying to light this guy with quite a lot of health. There we go. It's going to make it very easy to target him. Once I'm done exterminating his friends, of course. against these boys. Whoa, 17, nasty. Still a lot of enemies here. Concerning numbers of enemies. It's a flying Snarlack! Wow. Just when you decided that you had enough. Okay, he just counterspelled me. Without even trying. He just looked at me and was like, yup, no. Wow, that's a serious problem. Just did my entire HP. It's worth of damage there. So this is not showing as holding me in check here, so...
I don't know if I want to waste a spell slot on this. Let's get this guy back on his feet. Yeah, it's just kind of pointless really. Let's use our fast hands to use our item to apply poison to our crossbow for a few turns. And then proceed to miss. <clears throat> okay. He was insta-killed, or insta-jibbed, because uh, he was attacked while there was someone on top of him. It's, it's funny to me that uh, what seems to make this game more difficult is simply that the enemy have just got so much better rolls than you and so many more hit points that you... Uh, You are purely relying on luck, really, to get anybody killed in time. Five damage. I mean, you know, what is even the point? I'm doing five damage against enemies with uh, 64 HP. And then when they hit me, they're doing like 30 damage. So I have very little room to maneuver. Let's go with the uh, cunning action poison from the start. Forget trying to conserve anything in this game. Solid hit. Okay, here comes Captain Counterspell himself. Six damage, so up to twelve damage. Three D eight lightning, save for half. So this is actually the better spell for damage as well. Where we 
should go. Where we should uh, stand to try and drag this battle out. We're going to need to drag this battle out because there's just too many of them. <clears throat> what I can do here is I can use my one free action to drink the potion of giant strength, of ridiculously giant strength. against him. He's got 44 HP, so he's going to be a while in the killing as well. Obviously we want to get away from the edge here. I'm surprisingly still stealthed. Okay, I'm held in check here. And I need to light this area as well, so I'll have to cast the old dancing lights at some point or something along those lines. Or pull out the old faithful torch. Which actually, I'm not sure why she's not currently holding that. She seems to currently be uh, standing around without in any way using her torch. Odd. Uh, so I can fire here, but not for advantage. Nice shot, but very little damage. I am able to hide from there, which is nice. There are so many enemies here, it's actually kind of ridiculous. So, he seems to cast flying and then just fly off. But he managed to counterspell me last time by just doing that. By just flying and just standing there.
theory here I'd really want to disengage, but it's not going to happen. Actually, before we do anything else, why, where is your torch? The torch just ran out and you just decided to not replace it. Okay, fine. I don't think Expedious Retreat actually allows a disengagement. Sadly. Unless this guy dies. <clears throat> Which he's not going to. I basically, I have no choice but to retreat her because if I don't retreat her and she gets killed there where she's standing, which is a real possibility, okay, let's just leave it there, actually. If she gets killed there, it's going to be very difficult for me to stick a priest next to her to actually heal her. Okay, reasonable. We just can't carve through the hit points fast enough. There's just so many of them. for me to carve through. None of the uh, spells like sleep and that, they, they don't seem to work, or if they work they seem to last just a single turn. What if I cast a Mark II Bane? Yeah, so they, they saved it. Pretty much. One of them did not save it. The other two are saved it. And he still managed to hit, despite being the one that actually got Bane struck there. Possible, try and get this guy away so he can uh, 
heal up or do sneak attacks. Hide away. Oh, he missed. Wow, he's really shown me how it's done. He really showed me how it was done there. By casting one spell. Making it look easy. choice but to pick her up here otherwise she'll be killed okay I poisoned them there I don't know if that's gonna help me cunning action here but apparently being hide behind this pillar is giving me sneak attack at least So being hidden lets you roll twice for two hit, it would seem, and uh, being behind a pillar is providing me with uh, sneak attack. Wow, I mean, he just, uh, he just one-shots my ass. It's, uh, <laughs> he just, he casts a spell, man, and uh, it hits every time. And it also seems to do near the maximum amount of damage, and, uh, I don't have the hit points to sustain even a single hit. There's uh, one, two, three, four left, plus the boss. And it looks to me like there's very little room for me to, uh, to do anything. And he just, he, despite, uh, Despite casting a full fat spell that turn, he also automatically counterspells any casting that you do. So he's not giving up a turn or anything to do to do that. He actually just has a floating aura of counterspell. I don't, <laughs> I 
I don't I don't see any tactical way to win this. This doesn't even feel like a very tactical game. It's just uh it's a game of uh of of number grinding. Now, I was thinking about, you know, you could use the usual spare the dying cheese. But there's too many of them. You need to get the number of enemies down to two for that to work. And you have uh, one, two, three... You have a lot. So, I don't know. There's a save just before I walked in this room, no doubt. I don't realistically see how you... Um, pick some of them off. Like these, these three, they gather together for you to, I presume, to make it comfortable for you to just uh, blast them with uh, uh, with AOE. But uh, it's not working out at all. So. That is it for now. I'm going to give this some thought and uh, and I'll see you guys next time.